Welcome back peeps and in this episode we're going to cover whether Tesla makes a Q2 profit or loss and what the outcomes are. Check it out. Welcome back, peeps. You'll have to excuse the uh, microphone headphone because I purchased one of these and got one of these, which I don't know what this does apart from sitting my finger. And uh, yeah, the microphone doesn't work, so we're still waiting for a better microphone, so I apologise. Anyway, moving in to our, if you don't know, on Wednesday after the bell closes for the market, uh, that's 22nd of July. Tesla will be releasing its Q2 results. We already know that they've done 90,000 something cars in their delivery uh, when they were expected to do about 70,000. So um, despite the, the factory being closed, they've actually sort of smashed it uh, and done about 20,000 more than expected. So that's a bonus. But I want to cover in this video what would be the outline of uh, what I think, and this is only my opinion, what I think will happen if... Uh, on Wednesday night that we uh, we hear a profit and if we hear a loss and what the outcome will be in the stock. So, um, so yeah, let's go for the exciting bit first. Um, the market has not closed just yet. It's about half eight on Monday. Uh, and when I last checked, it's probably higher, lower, I don't know. But uh, when I last checked, Tesla stock was trading about 1,600. So it had rose uh, about 7% today. So uh, I had already anticipated last week, and I know I probably haven't put it in a video, but I had said to my friends, I was anticipating uh, Tesla pulling back slightly, probably more so than what it actually did in the end, uh, but a pullback last week, uh, and then a rise going into this week on the anticipation of profit. So why is this quarter so important? Um, you may or may not have seen already uh, on things. The reason why this, this uh, particular quarter holds so much importance to Tesla uh, is it will that they meet a lot of the criteria to uh, take this off my finger. Uh, they meet a lot of the criteria to uh, or all of it, bar one thing uh, to enter the S and P five hundred index. Um, and basically, the last thing that uncovers their entry into the S and P five hundred or to be considered into the S and P five hundred is basically to have four consecutive quarters of profit. Now we've got three sat behind us and Q2 uh, at the moment would be the fourth quarter. Therefore, there should be inclusion into the S&P 500, which uh, weirdly enough, like Tesla is like the uh, one of the top 10 biggest companies, I think, in the US uh, at the moment. So it's like, it's crazy. It's not in the S&P 500, but uh, they haven't met the criteria until potentially now. So, uh, so yeah, obviously if they hit this Q2 and it makes a profit, especially with all the things going against it with the uh, the factories being closed down for a period of time because of obviously what's happening out there at the minute um that would basically uh mean they would be considered to uh be included in the S&P 500 that would also mean that any funds that track the S&P 500 would have to invest into Tesla therefore would make the price effectively rise so what would time scales be around that if we hit a Q2 profit i think there's the excitement going up uh to q2 if we get a q2 profit i think we're going to see the price uh, push higher i i even personally think this is just my opinion i even think we could end up seeing nearing two thousand uh dollars a share uh within the next sort of week if that's the way things roll or, or at least up to the point of the inclusion into the s p 500 so how long does it take to get put into the s p 500 well uh you've got uh the members meet sort of like once a month um and when they make the decision that a company should be included into the S&P 500 they will it's uh, god knows how many times I've said that in this video S&P 500 um but uh once they've made uh it in or once they've made it to that monthly meeting normally if it's announced they're going to be put into the S&P 500 
any stock then it will be normally about 14 days after that i think roughly people feel free to you know fact check me and comment below but i think it's about 14 days after it's been announced they go in it's normally about that uh, and the funds you'll tend to find to keep their uh, trailing percentages or their percentages uh, accurate to follow in the s p 500 you'll normally see their investment within the first sort of day or two uh, of them being in the s p so um so that's a bit of a timeline for what we've got going there what price it will go to if it does get included i don't know um, it's hard to make predictions on Tesla stock. It's hard to predict any stock, but especially Tesla with how volatile it is. So um, that would bring for an exciting month or two, uh, and that would take us up to what I think is the other big peak that we've got coming for Tesla uh, this year. Um, yeah, I think it's probably the only other thing. Maybe autonomous. Musk has sort of thrown out there that we might see autonomous level five this, this year, I think. Correct me again if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, the, what we do know we've got on the 1st of September is battery day and there's going to be a big big announcement for a change in battery likely to bring the cost of battery manufacturing down thus seeing uh, there's been lots of news around the, the Model Y's prices being bought down that could very likely be linked with the battery uh, battery technology uh, that could be released on the 1st of September so uh, I think that will be uh, an increase in the price from there but does that really matter um not really i'm in the stock for sort of at least four to five years more likely uh longer than that so um these sort of short-term moves drops rises don't don't cause me any loss of sleep i don't expect the stock to go up every single day and neither should you so let's play out if uh if if they release a loss uh or break even or whatever uh you know don't quite make it on this quarter Yes, that would mean uh, they don't have four consecutive quarters. Doesn't, however, mean that they may not still be included into the S&P 500. So even though uh, if, if, if they were just to miss it, there is a chance uh, that the powers that be over there uh, would review it um, and consider it to still be put into the S&P 500 especially based on what's happened in the economy at the moment and the lockdown uh, and the shutting down of the factory um, if it really looked like it probably would have made profit um, then there is uh, a chance that it still could be considered because it's not the hard and fast rules there is some people that do get to make the decision on whether these things happen or not so um, don't write it off uh, so yeah if that comes out i think yeah we might see a, a heavy drop in the stock uh on on thursday friday this week uh dropping down uh if that happens really not concerned you won't see me selling or anything like that um and i think what we've seen so far when there's been drops in the stock that everyone's got this psychology sort of thing with uh, tesla at the moment it's too high for me to buy here but the the point where people are happy to get into the stock has been rising so people say oh i can't buy it over a thousand now all of a sudden 11 1200 looks like really attractive price to get into tesla there's this whole uh movement up of what a decent price is for this stock so i think uh we could see uh, a heavy drop thursday friday if they don't quite make it through disappointment but i think you you'll get that and it tends to hit a point where uh, the buyers start coming in and start taking advantage of that uh, that price drop and want to sort of thing, which creates a bit of support. So um, it's not the end of the world for me if if uh, if we don't make Q2 profit, because uh, I'm sure from here on out we're we'll, uh, we're getting the S&P 500. If it's next year, it doesn't matter uh, really at all. So uh, we'll start focusing towards the, the next point that the stock will rise, which would be in my eyes September the first. Uh, unless any other news comes out in the meantime so yeah that's my forecast at the moment there's uh there's lots of other stuff we can we can touch on at the moment um if anyone hasn't seen as well i've just looked today uh nicola's down 21 percent uh i'm super super against it not because i'm against like a competitor to to tesla in fact i encourage it it's all uh all good for the space for evs 
But uh, there's something in my eyes, and this is just my opinion on the Nicola stock, I just find him super shifty. I don't like the CEO to come out and start bad-mouthing someone like Elon Musk, who has achieved a lot for the space. And even if you are his competitor, you have to take your hat off to him, and he's going to have helped your business. But, uh, yeah, Nicola asking for a $5,000 deposit on a car they haven't even made a prototype of. Uh, it's a bit of a joke stock, really. So, um, so yeah. So, yeah, I hope that helped. That's my outlook. I'll be listening out for the earnings call on Q2 on Wednesday night after the market close. Uh, I shall listen in and I'll report back to you of what my view is on, uh, on what's happening. But uh, very much look forward to it. Can't wait to he- hear Elon on the call. And uh, as always, if you've made it this far, thank you very much. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.